family, Craig D here, back with another DCU video, and today I want to make an updated Earth DPS loadout with not using Weapon Mastery. If you um, have paid attention to my other Earth DPS loadouts, you'll know that I have used Weapon Mastery, but I am going to kind of uh, fiddle around here with uh, not using Weapon Mastery, and one of the main reasons is, if you go into the powers, and you go into where the actual crystal is, you'll notice that it says the Weapon Mastery crit is excluded because the crystal does damage on its own. So, therefore, if the big hits are excluded from Weapon Mastery, then what's really the point of using Weapon Mastery? So, in this case, I am using Martial Arts um, because it is a ranged, and I'm more of a ranged fan as opposed to a melee fan. Um, so we're going to be using uh, Martial Arts with Shuriken Storm as our main move, and then we will go through the loadout here. So in the Geokinesis Tree, you basically want most of your power points here. You want to go three down the middle, three down the right, left, three down the right. Uh, in your Seismic Tree, you basically want nothing. And then uh, for my Supercharge, or I should say for my Iconics, we use your obviously your two DPSs your weapons expert, tactical genius, and then you'll have four other power points left. So I basically went with the two tank powers to get health, defense, toughness, and then um, intimidating gaze and Solomon for extra power. Uh, but once again, as with many of my other loadouts, you can pretty much put these wherever you see fit, wherever you feel comfortable with, whatever you want. Um, so it really doesn't matter where you put these um, per se, as long as you get the two DPS ones. Um, so what I want to show then is the supercharge. So you go into skimming here, and you'll go down the right, and go all the way down and get Gale. And you'll use that in your loadout as your supercharge, and that basically keeps um, your, your crystal uh, powered up so that it can keep doing those big one one shots um, because you'll in my own personal experience I've noticed that when you do use that a lot of the times the crystal will be able to hit for 30 or 40 thousand damage one two or even three hits in a row after you use it um, not only that but in your alerts and your um, raids this will also help power give power back to other members of your party so you know this is also you know partially being a uh, team player so there's nothing wrong with that so now for the actual loadout what we have is debris field free and force gale uh, the crystal itself fortify golem and rumble crush so basically we're going to start our rotation with rumble crush which will uh, inflict our power interaction which will help crystal um, do more damage and then we'll just go left to right we'll go to pre-field clipped with reinforce so this is the damage over time AOE damage over time uh, reinforce is your attack buff as you can see there increasing your precision and your critical attack chance which gives, obviously gives you a better chance of doing more damage and hitting for those higher numbers uh, Gale is the supercharge which like I said uh, as you can see there um, restores power to you and your allies and this is huge for the crystal um, I know most people use totem which um, does some damage over time and heals the the pet but honestly I feel like this is much more worth it because the the damage that the totem does is minuscule and minimum at best uh, so this is definitely more worth it I believe so that is the loadout so basically what we're going to be doing here like I said you're gonna start with your power interaction we're gonna clip those two and then you're basically gonna do that do that hit it again and then just keep now you see now obviously these numbers are huge just because my combat rating is much higher than the actual sparring target is but that's as simple as it is and you'll notice how big those numbers are now the last time that I did uh, this loadout with the weapon mastery I wasn't hitting for those numbers at all precision wise so once again you rumble crush you clip those two together hit your weapon or non weapon mastery hit it again hit it again and you can probably go back through hit it again hit it again um, now one of the main things that you want to do is always make sure that when fortify golem is up that you hit it because that will keep your crystal powered up and you will be able to hit for those huge numbers like as you saw there you know like 280 some thousand um, so that is basically it earth dpsing is 
like I just made the video, I feel like it's very underrated, but it can hit for very huge numbers, and it can actually uh, be one of the top tier DPS. So one more time, we'll go through it, just so you see. So you start with Roma Crush, the brief build and reinforce, then you hit your little combo there, hit it again, whoops, I could do it right, but hit it again, make sure to power up the totem, or the crystal, hit your thing again, hit your thing again, and then once everything is back up, you just go through it again, hit it, hit it, power up the totem, or the crystal, I keep saying totem, but it's the crystal, boom, 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 boom. Um, so now, uh, one last thing that I want to mention is, is you don't have to use martial arts. You can use whatever combo um, you like. I just ha happen to have a martial arts weapon, so I'm using that. Um, another thing you can possibly use that I was wanted to use actually originally was the hand blaster. Um, into solar flame or scissor kick is another popular one uh, so you can do that um, you can do the two-handed um, into um, uh, the throw so I guess it really doesn't matter which weapon master well, I keep wanting to say weapon mastery but it doesn't really matter what weapon attack you use but personally um, I do actually like the martial arts one after using it for a while like I said hand blasters are going on dual wield um, so you know fiddle around with um, play around with uh, several of them, see what works best for you, see what is more comfortable for you. But that is basically the loadout. So one last time, we'll go through it again really quick. So Rumble Crush for the power interaction. Put those two together. Hit your thing. Power up your to or crystal. God, I keep wanting to say totem. Hit it again. Hit it again. See, now you can get through like three or four of these. And then as soon as your Fortify Golem pops up, you do that again to Power Crystal, and then you just go through the rotation again. And as you can see here, we're hitting for huge numbers. Once again, my combat rating is much higher than scoring targets, so that um, does help. But as you can see here, we're hitting for huge numbers. The Crystal is hitting very, very hard, and that's about it. You work with this, you get the timing down, and you will be definitely a top tier DPS. So, um, with that guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more DCO content on the channel. And until next time guys, we'll see you soon.